So I'm at LAX, I'm heading off to Orlando to go to Disney World. Kitra unfortunately couldn't come with me, but we're gonna try to make the best of this trip without her. Even though Kitra is not here, she's here in spirit, she used to take care of a bunch of lemurs. And sometimes you're stuck eating Panda Express for breakfast because the line for Starbucks is just too long. You know, some Panda Expresses in airports will do a breakfast burrito with orange chicken for breakfast. Like that we're in Orlando we're ready to get to Disney World this is cool the monorail station is themed to Star Wars Galaxy's Head I feel like I'm in Batu right in front of Droid Depot my data pad's not letting me hack this one they even have the monster from the trash compactor in the water fountain they have speeder bikes they even have doors that you can pose into what does this say in Arabesh? I don't know, you're gonna have to put it in the comments below. Let's get out of here. I'm really grateful that Walt Disney World invited us out on this trip. Unfortunately, there was only one slot available. Kitra had to work at home, but I'm gonna bring you along for this adventure. I'm loving all the Christmas decorations that are up in Orlando Airport. LAX, where I'm from, is not in the same festive spirit. Whoa, look at that new billboard. There's a virtual billboard on the side of the new Disney store inside the Orlando airport. Like, it is bright. It, it almost feels like you are in Batu. A lot more so than the, uh, the monorail decals. I really have to go catch a bus driven by a mouse right now, but I want to check out this store because it's been newly remodeled and see what kind of Star Wars stuff they got. Looks like they have a lot of the same merchandise that's in the parks. Still got to get me one of those Dio sippers. Oh my god. Okay, it's Kitra's birthday coming up, and one of the things she wanted was this Yoda Loungefly backpack that they only sell in the Disney parks. And I couldn't find it anywhere. It was being sold on eBay, and I paid an outrageous amount of money, <laughs> more money than it sold for, to get it for her birthday. They have it here in the store. I could have just bought it here for the normal price. This is a cool looking store. I like how much space there is, but I really need to get on my way. They even got Hanukkah decorations in this airport. Crazy. And now to find Mickey's bus. Where is it? Magic bands. They didn't send me magic bands. I think I'll be fine. Let's see. I was waiting for the Magical Express, and apparently people get driven to the airport all the time, and the, the drivers and the minivans, all the, they have to go back to the resort. So they randomly select people in line to get in the minivan. So I'm getting a free ride in a minivan to Coronado Springs. That was so awesome. If you ever have a chance to ride in a minivan, I highly recommend it. They even had like some, some drinks and food right in the middle and charging stations. Disney was nice enough to put us up at the Coronado Springs. Uh, strangely, we are not staying at the new building, staying someplace else on property, but this new tower looks incredible and the Christmas decorations are also very classy, very timeless. I kind of wish I was staying here. Peter. Yes. I need one photo ID. That's good, because I only have one. <laughs> now, is that a hidden Mickey, technically? I mean, it is a little bit just, this is just modern furniture that is kind of in the shape of Mickey. Okay, that's definitely a hidden Mickey, right? I think it is. I've never stayed at Coronado Springs, and boy, is this campus like huge. It's just like a huge campus of hotels. I gotta find my building. It's a little chilly out here. Last time we were in Orlando, we were sweating our butts off, link above and below. 
it's so big that they have a walkway that cuts across the water in the center so you don't have to walk all the way around it. You could walk around this place all day and probably not find your room. Where is my room? <laughs> no, really, where is my room? I'm lost, I'm not even joking. I think I might have found her in my building. That's a start, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Magic band, activate. We're okay, in. we're in. Uh, let's, let's give you a quick tour of my hotel room. We got two beds. We got a large TV that says my name on it. We got a very nice desk, a large desk area. This is gonna be very handy for me editing the videos that you're gonna see. And it seems like the theme of the room is all based on the three Caballeros. There's a coffee maker, but you know, I don't drink coffee. If Kitra was here, I wish Kitra was here. Like, I feel like she would love this place. She loves the Mexico ride in Epcot. Next time, next time. What does this do? Oh, it's a reading light. I like buttons. We've got some drawers to put your clothes. I'm not gonna do that because I live out of my suitcase like an animal. Look at these barn doors for the bathroom. And there's me, all sweaty from the, the airport. Do not look, don't look, don't look. We got his and her sinks. Which one do you think's his? And which one do you think's hers? Of course, we got the H2O soaps that we love. The tie-in, the Western motif. You have some like Western style blinds here. Who's out there? I like how they have Jiminy Cricket for the like emergency instructions. I guess you should let your conscience be your guide, except for in the case of emergencies, you gotta read these instructions. But do we trust instructions by Pinocchio? He's a known liar. Traveling all day, I'm at Disney World, so I should probably do something, get food somewhere. Where should I go? I'll be honest, guys, I don't consider myself a codependent person, but why did that go on? Anyways, this is my first time at Disney World by myself, and I'm having problems deciding where to eat because I don't want to go to someplace fancy and be like the guy at the table by himself. And there's too many options. I'm like paralyzed with the inability to choose. Hi guys, Kitra here. I'm editing this video from my brand new computer. And first of all, I just gotta say, give it up for Peter for vlogging by himself. It's very interesting editing uh, this vlog, not being there. Second of all, don't let him fool you. He's just as indecisive about figuring out what to eat when he's at home. I wish Kitra was here, although she would also be paralyzed by the inability to choose. I would not. I would make a decision. Matter of fact, I was texting you this entire time telling you where to go, and it still took you forever to figure it out. We would decide someplace to go together. And right now I have no, no partner in crime to do that with. By the way, bursting out those barner doors for the bathroom, it's just awesome. See what I mean? Another thing I just realized is I went three hours forward in time because I traveled from the west to the east. And what that means is that it's almost nine o'clock. And unfortunately, most of the theme parks here are closing. So that is not an option. Okay, so this means I can either go to a resort or I can go to Disney Springs. I think I'm going to try to find a bus. So I found the bus stop. I think I'm going to Disney Springs. I'm wondering what would you do? Like if you had this choice, would you? what resort restaurant would you go to? What Disney Springs restaurant would you go to? Tell me in the comments below. The bus stop has a counter telling you when Oh, look, there's probably like some fireworks or something going on back there. Anyways, telling you when the next bus is coming for each stop and there's no listing for D Disney Springs. Does that mean there isn't going to be a bus coming? So I asked one of the bus drivers and they did assure me that there are buses running to Disney Springs. The, the timer up there just isn't working. So we're going to wait around here for a little bit longer. So I finally made it onto a bus. 
headed to Disney Springs, even though the bu outside of the bus does not say so. Uh, I will say this, out of Disney World, one of my least liked things is the transportation. But at least this bus has like a faux wooden floor. Never seen that before. So I asked on Twitter what people recommended to go eat at Disney Springs, and we got a bunch of responses. Most overwhelmingly was Homecoming, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, Polite Pig, Boathouse, Chicken Guy, and Edison. I've eaten at like three of those places. I think I might be in the mood for Homecoming, because I've heard so much about that. And probably, if you count all the replies, that was probably overwhelmingly the number one response. At Downtown Disney, they have a Lego store. Over here at Disney Springs, they also have a Lego store. They have a cool mural outside the Lego store made out of Lego bricks. And they also have Anna and Elsa from Frozen 2 built life-size inside. The T-Rex restaurant is probably, it would be the best thing for the vlog, but I've eaten there before and it's not very good. I really like that they've increased the presence of Orange Bird around the parks and resorts. I like Orange Bird. Even though he's a mascot for what, you know, I like him. I like him anyways. It's 48 degrees out here in Orlando, so nobody is sitting outside. There's like a band playing and there's nobody there watching. I don't think I'd want to be up there on a night like tonight. It's too cold for me. I almost wish I lived in Florida. There's so many cool looking restaurants here. I want to try out them all. I got lost in my resort. I'm lost at Disney Springs. I can't find this restaurant. Where is it? Okay, it looks like I'm right here and I'm looking for 31. So you go through there. I seriously must have just walked right past the restaurant because I'm going the same way as I went before. If Kitra was here, we wouldn't get lost. Actually, that's not true. We would have got lost and I would have been the one to blame and she'd be yelling at me. I miss her. Where is this restaurant? You've arrived. <laughs> what? Oh my God, it's right here. I literally gave up. I took out my phone, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get directions on Google Maps. I type in homecoming, I hit go, and this is what happens. I was right in front of the restaurant. I was right here, it's right here. I've heard that this place, people love the fried chicken. They have Art's Famous Fried Chicken, which is that three piece, and it has mashed potatoes. There's also fried, fried chicken and donuts. I guess that's kind of like, uh, their version of like fried chicken and waffles. I have to get that, right? Like where else are you gonna get that? But also, braised short ribs looks good. They also have some good starters too. Bunch of puppies, which is their version of hush puppies. I also have to get a drink too. You know what's calling out to me is the, the Moonshine Mash, which is a watermelon cocktail. You know me and watermelon. I wish Ketra was here. I wish Getch was here. Honestly, everything on this menu looks good. I love the southern charm of this place. It just uh, feels very homey. So I ordered the moonshine mash, and this is watermelon infused moonshine, fresh watermelon, lime juice, and simple syrup. And it comes served in kind of like a mule copper glass. Let's try this out. So it tastes like a Moscow Mule with hints of lime and some watermelon, even has a watermelon garnish, and it's very good. And for my appetizer, I got the Bunch of Puppies, which is their house-made hush puppies served with pimento cheese and red jalapeno jelly. I already think I ordered too much. Okay, let's try it first with this jelly. These are good hush puppies, soft on the inside, hard on the outside. This jelly has quite, it tastes like jelly, but it has a kick to it. That ha, you can really taste that red jalapeno. It's a winner. I wish Kitra was here. Let's try it with the pimento cheese now. It's good. I like the jelly a lot more. I'd stick to the jelly, unless you're a huge cheese person. I'd say I've ordered too much. But I just realized I haven't eaten since breakfast. So it's okay, right? I mean, I did have Panda Express for breakfast, but probably... 
It's okay. I think it's okay. This red jalapeno jelly is addictive. Oh my god. This food has just arrived. And it looks like it was either the worst idea in the world or the best idea in the world. Okay, so this wasn't entirely as indulgent as I feared it would be. The donuts are mini donuts. Uh, the chicken still looks huge, and the mashed potatoes looks amazing. Look at that. Look at that fried chicken right there. This tastes like it was fried in sugar. Like, it was fried in honey, as it's honey taste. This is like drugs. There's drugs in here. This might be the best fried chicken I've ever had, and that's saying something. It's a contender for sure. The mashed potatoes comes in this very cute... Uh, what do you call this? Like a, a skillet? A mini skillet? It's too much for one person. I wish Kedra was here. Guys, these mashed potatoes. So garlicky, so buttery. The right texture and creaminess. You guys were right, okay? About this place. This place is awesome. So far, two, you know, everything has been amazing. Let's try the donut. Oh, this, this is probably maple syrup or something. Yeah, it smells like maple syrup. Would've been good with that jelly. This is the meal to get, I'm telling you, because it kind of, it, it comes with a meal, comes with a side, comes with dessert, you know, two courses right there. These donuts are doughy and soft and uh, they have some powdered sugar on them. And that uh, maple syrup is just so sweet, so good. If you guys come to Disney Springs, come to Homecoming. It's just fantastic. Okay, I can't leave here without trying the chicken and donuts as intended with a piece of chicken on top of the mini donut covered with this maple syrup. Not sure how I'm gonna eat this, but it's really good, guys. It's really good. That was a good meal. I am so stuffed. And I have an hour before I think Disney Springs closes. Actually, it looks like a lot of the stuff is already closed. But I'm hoping to make it over to the Christmas tree trail to show you that. I've never seen it in person. I've only seen it on like videos on like Tim Dracker and stuff like that. So let's go try to find that. And when I say try to find, it means get lost. Probably not find it. But uh, let's, let's go for it. So I didn't make it to the Christmas tree trail. It closed at 11 p.m. I thought it was open until midnight. Big fail for my first day here at Disney World. But you won't want to miss the future days of this trip. So please hit subscribe below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching.